Lama Lama, Mrs. Mama. This is our Thursday read aloud. So today, let's start with our vocabulary words. Our first one is, hmm, what does that look like? You might not know it, but this looks very similar to our school. This is the word school. <laughs> Schedule. This is something that we do every day. So right now, our schedule is to do sign-in, then morning meeting, and then we do small groups. A schedule is a set of things that we do in order. The last vocabulary word is the word safe. So the baby in the picture is safe in their car seat. Look at their strapped in. They're, there's a smile on their face. They're ready to go out because they are safe. And Llama Llama, we're wondering who helps Llama? Feel I want you to think about that as we read the book now. Llama Llama, warm in bed. Wakey, wakey, sleepy head. Llama school begins today. Time to learn and time to play. Make the bed and find some clothes. Brush the teeth. Blow the nose, eat some breakfast, clean the plate. Whoops! Oh my, we're running late. Hmm, looks like they have a schedule at home. So remember, a schedule is a list of things that you do in order. First, Mama makes his bed. Then he picks out his clothes, brushes his teeth, blows his nose, eats next, and then it's time to leave. That is a schedule. Drive to school and park the car. Tell the teacher who you are. Meet new faces, hear new names, see new places, watch new games. Hang the coat and say goodbye. Llama Llama feeling shy. Mama Llama goes away. Llama Llama has to stay. He's staying at school. Strange new teachers, strange new toys, lots of kids, and lots of noise. What would Llama like to do? Llama Llama feels so new. Build a castle out of blocks? Make a rocket from a box? Llama Llama shakes his head. Llama walks away instead. Here's a little chug a chew with a captain and a crew. Would the llama like to ride? Llama Llama wants to hide. Reading stories on the rug. Kids are cuddled, sitting snug. Would Llama like to look? Llama Llama hates that. Time for lunch, now find a seat. Llama doesn't want to eat. Llama makes a little moan. Llama Llama feels alone. Llama misses Mama so. Why did Mama Llama have to go? It's too much for little Llama. Llama Llama misses Mama. Don't be sad, you little Llama. It's okay to miss your mama, but don't forget when day is through, she will come right back to you. Llama Llama, please don't fuss. Have some fun and play with us. Put on coats and run outside. See the playhouse. Try the slide. Tag and jump rope. Hide and seek. Close your eyes and do not peek. Now it's time to draw and write. Great big crayons, colors bright. Take some paper from the stack. Mama Llama, you came back. Teacher gets a goodbye hug. Wave to friends on a reading rug. Climb the playhouse with the slide. See if Mama fits inside. 
Lots to show and lots to say. Back again another day. Llama finds something new. He loves Mama. And school, too. So my question is, who helps Llama feel safe at school? Who helps him? If you are thinking about the teacher, you would be right. The teacher helps Llama when he's feeling sad. She reminds him that moms always come back and it's okay to miss them during the day. The other question I had is about the schedule. So Llama had a schedule at home, but at school he has one too. First, Mama Llama leaves. Then they have active learning. And look at all the toys they can play with. It's their playtime. They have reading time. They have lunch time. And yep, there's his lunch. They have recess outside. And then at the end, Mama Llama comes back. That's his schedule. Thanks for reading.